Hey guys, Hayden here again from Alarm System Store, and today we're going to be talking about the not networked trouble on the DSC Neo system. Um, so this one's pretty simple, but essentially um, the not network trouble is for wireless devices only, and it is telling you that the device cannot talk to the system, or the system cannot receive anything from the device itself, or has not done so yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the most common reason that people see this trouble, and it is almost always when you enroll a sensor. So a lot of times, if you go in and you follow the uh, auto-enrollment, uh, what that does is it actually makes the sensor talk to the system, and when it does so, it pulls the information that it needs, and it makes that initial communication. A lot of times what you'll see people do, though, is plug in just the serial number for the device, which is a fine way to do it, but after you do it that way, you do have to trigger the device so that it tries to send out a signal so that the system can receive it. So, I got a door contact and a, a key fob here, and basically what we're going to do is I'm going to enroll these by just entering the serial number, um, not triggering the devices themselves, and then it will automatically pop up right off the bat and say that these are not networked because they haven't communicated with the system yet. So. Um, easy way to fix that is just tampering the device, or in some cases you can just actuate it like a door contact. You just pull the magnet away, and that should work. Um, but if that doesn't, then you tamper the device, and that forces it to send out a tamper signal. Um, and I'll show you guys how to do that. But essentially, um, let me get the camera swapped over here, and we'll get started. Now, one other thing to consider before um, doing what I'm about to do, clearing these tampers, is if you've put your sensors up and they start showing the not network trouble, then it means that wherever the device is located, it cannot get a good signal. So it is a good idea to grab your sensors and bring them closer to the panel if you're running into this trouble, um, especially if you did enroll them using the auto enroll as recommended. So if you do happen to see it again after you have enrolled them properly and gotten them to connect once, just know that it's probably in a location that it's not going to work. All right, so for the not network trouble, the only way I can actually force it to show up on the system is to enroll these devices um, by just typing in the serial number. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. And then I'll show you what the trouble looks like for door contacts as well as key fobs, uh, just because they show up differently. And then I'll walk you through the process of how I get them to make that initial connection. So I'm gonna enroll these real quick, I'll be right back. All right, so now I have them technically enrolled, but they have never made a connection to the panel, so they're gonna be showing the not network trouble. And this applies to um, any not networked sensor. Um, like I said, this is gonna be the most common time that you see this, but the not network trouble will show up in other scenarios if for some reason a device cannot connect to the system, so, um, or the system hasn't been able to check in with it within a certain amount of time. So what we do here, um, Check your star 2 for your trouble menu, and you're going to see press star for not networked. It's just going to be one section, so you go into that section, and it's going to tell you a not networked zone, and then if you scroll, a not networked user. So the user is actually tied to the key fob, because whenever you enroll key fobs, you select the user that's going to be assigned to this key fob. So essentially, user 1, which is the master code, is assigned to that key fob, so, if we hit star on the not networked zone, it will tell us zone 1 is the sensor that has not networked yet. And then if we go back and check the not networked user, it will say not networked user 1, meaning key fob for user 1 is not networked. So there's a couple ways to clear this. Um, essentially, with door contacts, the easiest and quickest way is just to tamper the zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this contact up. Basically, take this little cover off. Unscrew the screw here. All sensors have different ways to essentially open them up, but each one, just open it up, and that will cause the tamper condition. And then if you need to, some of them you can just push the tamper button, which is on this one, this big rubber button here. And when you're working with zones and you're tampering them, that is what you want to listen for right there. And once we hear that beep, that is another trouble showing up, which is actually the zone being tampered. So whenever you hear that beep, that is actually 
the sensor connecting to the system and reporting a tamper. Now, if you haven't cleared the trouble beeps from the initial not network trouble, it would probably blend in with those, so you might not notice it. But essentially, tampering the zone right there, just got it to connect to the panel, and I got a trouble condition for a tamper, which I'll show you here. Hit star two, now it's showing device tamper. Hit star, star on the zone, and it's showing zone one. So anytime you're getting anything but a not networked trouble for a zone, it means it has made a connection and it is reporting a different trouble or a different state. So now we know this door contact is good. So I'm gonna put it back here, go ahead and back out of there, get our magnet lined up. So next we're gonna move on to the key fob. Um, so we still have the not network trouble for the user one, which is our key fob here. And these can be a little tricky because a lot of times what I'll see people do is they'll try and stand right next to their keypad and trigger this and get the not network to clear. Well. A lot of people are using what this is, which is an RF keypad, and the receiver for the system is built into this keypad. If you have a standalone host module and it's not located at your keypad, this method would work fine. But a lot of people, like I said, use the RF keypad. And if you have a PowerG device right next to the receiver, a lot of times the signal actually misses the receiver. It just goes right on by it because it is so close. So. What we need to do is we need to actually put some distance between the sensor and the receiver of the system. So, like I said, if you got an RF keypad, get like five to 10 feet away from it. If you have a host module, just make sure when you're trying to get these devices to network that you back up at least five to 10 feet away from the host module. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here and hopefully this is far enough. I might have to get up and move to the other side of the room. But essentially, all I'm doing is hitting the disarm button, and eventually, I will get to a location where the key fob makes that initial connection. So, looks like I'm gonna have to get up, so I'm gonna walk over there real quick, and I will get be right back. Okay, so as you just saw, the trouble just went away, and that is because I got the key fob to connect to the system. So essentially, anytime you have a not network trouble, it takes a little bit of um, working with the sensors or the key fobs or whatever the case is to get it to connect. But for zones, generally, like I said, tampering them is the easiest way to get that device to connect. And with key fobs, you just have to try it a few times. Um, I probably hit the button five or six times total between sitting here and moving across the room to do it. But eventually the trouble cleared and now we are good to go. Now, if I try to use these devices, such as arming with the key fob, it should start arming. So as you saw there, now it's arming. And if I disarm, and like I said, if you are using an RF keypad for your system, don't be right on top of the keypad trying to do it because you'll be at it for you know a long time. Basically the signal will eventually connect to it, but if you're too close, it's just gonna bounce right around the actual keypad, which is gonna miss the receiver totally. So get the sensor, the key fob a little ways away. Usually 10 feet is more than enough and tamper the device or press the buttons on the key fob until they connect. And like I said, if you have multiple devices that are not networked, just do this with each device and after you tamper it or you mess with the key fob, just come back and check the trouble menu on the system until you basically have what I have here, just a green check mark and no orange triangle. So that's it for not networking. Um, hopefully that help to any of you out there that are having this issue. Um, if you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And if you're on our website, uh, check out more of our troubleshooting videos. We have a whole selection of videos for the DSC Neo, the wireless sensors, the whole bit. But that's gonna do it for me today, and I will catch you guys on the next one.